stumble upon those ridiculously tiny shoes in museums and think, what were these shoemakers doing to people's feet? Not what you think. Get ready to debunk some epic footwear fakery. We imagine women screaming through foot-finding torture or clomping around on sky-high stilts. Tiny feet were all the rage, right? Hold your horses. The tiny feet obsession is a whopping pile of historical hogwash. Here's why. First, museum misdirection. Those pint-sized shoes you see? It's all because only the smallest sizes survive today. Most people back then rocked average size kicks, just like you and me. Second, sizing shenanigans. Back in the day, they didn't speak the same language of shoe sizes. What was a size five then might be an eight or even a nine now. Third, fashion fakery. Turns out ancient shoemakers were masters of illusion. Narrow cuts, sneaky padding, and strategically placed baubles made feet look way smaller than they actually were. Maybe those old shoemakers weren't foot fiends after all, just masters of deceptive design.